G'day golfer and welcome to today's 2K21 course playthrough. So today we have Marwick Head Golf Links and this one is designed by the young Joe Nor. So Joe was um, kind enough to reach out to the crack and ask for a bit of a playthrough. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get into the settings. Uh, what do we got? The winds are default. The fairways are soft. The greens are normal. The green speed is fast. Time of day is dawn. And the weather is overcast. And we will be tackling this Lynx course from the tips, which are the black tees. And they measure 7,582 yards on pin set one. All right, let's get out there, check it out, and see if we can tear it apart. All right, here we are out on the first tee, so let's do what we do best. Pull the camera back, wrap it up, and go and have a look at young Joe's Lynx course. Now, this is Joe's entry into the CDT Roulette Design Competition. As far as I'm aware, this is a competition that's going on over on Facebook. And, well, I think by now all the courses should be out. So, basically... They spun a wheel, um, gave a designer two choices of themes, and they had to pick from one of those two. And there's a lot of other things that they had to do, uh, like an, a lot of other criterias they had to meet and choose from and stuff like that. But I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to bore you with that. So let's just rip down here and have a look at this massive clubhouse that Joe's built for us all. That looks very cool. Let's... um. Is it like a little fire pit? It is too. Just down there. Very nice. That is a that is one hell of a clubhouse. That is huge. Oh, what have we got over in the distance here as well? Nice big car park. Love it. But well there is what is this? Oh, it's like tennis courts. That's pretty cool. That's where all the crowd is watching the tennis, not me. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's a nice little touch, though. I do like that. If you're into your tennis. Uh, do we have something over the over this way? Oh, yeah, a nice little... I'm not sure what that is. Some sort of building. Ah, oh, we've got a driving range just behind there as well. Very nice. I do like it when a course has... um, All the designers put all, like, the driving range and stuff in like that. And the practice greens. Yeah, very nice looking um, little driving range there. Do we have a practice green somewhere around? Oh yeah, just down here. Here it is. Nice little practice green. Couple of bunkers, just in case you want to chip out of those onto the green. Practice your sand work. Yeah, very nice. Anyway, let's um, let's go for a little bit of a fly. Now, there is some buildings down there in the distance. But we'll just sort of wander down... Uh, around, I don't know. We'll go this way first, eh? The typical Lynx course. Usually not too much to look at. Very nice planting, though. Joe does some very nice work. He's a young up-and-coming designer. Trying to make a name for himself. Just like I am on YouTube. It's very hard these days, but we shall keep lugging away. But yeah, by all means, if you do like this, you can smash that thumbs up. Tell a friend, you know. Send them my way. But all, all this looks cool. It actually plays out right by the water's edge. Right down here, look at this. Looks looks like a little nice little par 3 right here. Very short little par 3. If that's the way we're playing. We'll be going back. The, actually, hang on. We could be coming. No, that is, not, that is a little par 3 just down here. Very short little par three, especially if you're playing from the uh, front tees. Let's go for a wander along the coast, though. This looks actually very nice. I haven't played a Lynx course in a while. I do like how he's got the um, fence work right down by the edge there. As if to say, no, you can't go down here because you're going to fucking die. That's pretty cool. We've got some um, fishing trawlers out there. That's what we call them in Australia. Or, or should I say, Australia. Because we tend to um, shorten words down. Yeah, very nice looking course. It's used a um, fair bit of the plot too, to make this. Let's, um... 
Let's go down through this way over here because that looks pretty damn cool. I like all the grass work. Now, what do we got? We is that? So that's fairway to light rough. I'm guessing. Pretty damn cool. Not very nice. Nice little bridge work. I do like that. Oh, I like how he's actually uh, used the, um, those, uh, brick sort of pillars. Make it go all the way down to the ground. That's, that's a, um, that's a very smart little touch to it, isn't it? Let's, um, wander out this way. We'll just cruise on down here. See if we can get the sun to our back, because that is pretty damn bright coming off the ocean. There we go, a nice little, um... Lighthouse out here, another fish and trawler down there in the distance. That's cool, he's incorporated a um, house in there. He's actually added a balcony right there as well. That's cool. Alright, uh, now what do we have over here? Oh yeah, just a nice little bit of a community. A couple of houses and everything, purely for um, aesthetics while you're playing around on the course. Now this is the this is the point because I'm about to go back to the first tee. If you haven't played this course, boot up your system right now, fire it up, hit the, hit the pause button, whatever, I don't care, and yeah, come play. Let's go play together. In a manner of speaking, see if you can kick my ass or maybe I kick yours. Who knows? Who cares? As long as you enjoy the course, you have fun with it, and yeah, if you do come play along, by all means let us know how you score in the comment section below and let us know what you think of the course if you're just um watching. Anyway, we'll get back to the first tee now, and we shall start swinging. All right, here we go. Uh, what have we got? Hole one, par four, 442 yards, one foot up, and we have a 12-mile breeze today, so the winds are quite strong. So with that wind going with us, I'm going to see if I can clear this bunker right here and just smash it straight down the guts. There we go. Oh, slight little fast. But I am feeling a lot better after the last video. Uh, my sinuses have cleared up, so I've got a clear head. I'm ready to golf. And we made the fairway on that, baby. All right, 110 yards remaining, 11 feet up. Got 11 miles going with us. No, we shall take, oh, take the 9-iron pitch. I think I might with this one. Let's aim over here so we can use a bit of this break on the green. That's a tough pin location, too. Oh, look at that. Oh, just scraped in with a perfect. Oh, this needs to roll. And that's it. Now, just come back towards the hole, baby. Use some of that break. Oh, look at that for a shot. That could be shot of the day. All right, green speeds for today are 176. Well, I got a birdie. How'd you go? <laughs> all right let's move on let's see if we can tear this course apart today i'm feeling good i'm feeling really good today all right hole two par five going for an eagle on this one again we got 11 mile winds going with us oh a bit of a got a choice here oh that's got a nasty slope to it on that side of the fairway this could be a better shot into the green though coming from this angle I think we'll take the um, right-hand side here. Oh, crushed it too. All right, not too bad. We got a whopping 336. Yeah, there we go. 36 yards out of that drive. All right, we have 300. Wow, okay, five iron. 324 remaining, 30 feet down. Yeah, baby. You know what I'm doing. That slope. Oh, I wonder if we can use this. I want to use the hybrid. I'm going to drive this. Drive her off the deck, baby. Let's go for it. A little bit of a warm-up. Actually, what's our light? Our feet? Not too bad. Bring it over here a little bit more. Oh, give me a bounce. Give me a good bounce. Oh, nope, nope. All right, I'm in the rough with a nasty lie. 
But we could still get an eagle here. I seriously doubt it, but you never know. All right, lob wedge pitch. You know what? I'm going to change that to a flop. I've been enjoying my partial flops lately. A nasty lie, so let's bring that out here somewhere. Oh, shit, I killed it. I killed the ball. Absolutely smashed it. Oh, that's going to leave me one hell of a putt. So that wasn't quite as partial as I, I would have um, liked it to be. These greens look quite challenging too. Oh, they got a lot of slope to them. That's, that's all uphill. Mind you, it's only one foot up. It looks a lot more daunting than what it says it is. I'm going to take a little bit of juice out of that. I don't want to overhit this, otherwise we're going back off. Uh, okay. This is going to turn. So there's the pin right there. I mean the hole right there. Or the pin too, because I just put it in. Might leave that in at the moment. All right, let's see how we go at this. 176. I don't think it's going to turn that much. Oh, stuff it. Let's go. All right, here we go. This one. Oh, go. Come on. Oh, ho, ho. that wasn't too bad. Let's get rid of that pin now. All right, so we pick up a birdie. Oh, it was a par. Well, fuck you, par five. That's what I say to that. All right, let's keep moving. Um, hole three, par three. Nice little hole in one chance. Ah, so we're playing back this way. Right, okay, I get it now. So it wasn't as short as I thought it was. It's hard to tell sometimes when you're just um, flying around. Um, all right, we got now we've got the wind coming at us. We've got a four iron. Do I take the three? We are playing into the wind. It is, it's only four feet down. Possibly get a... Possibly get a bounce off the hill here, which is absolutely just going to shoot me down into here if we play up this high. Just not sure how much that wind is going to affect me. The diagonal winds, yeah, they get me sometimes. Yeah, what do you reckon about, about there? 11 mile winds? I'm hoping that wind holds it up a bit here. Oh, I've overshot that. I probably could have done with the four iron. Yeah, I reckon it looks pretty good. Looks like a pretty good putt. Oh, shiver. <laughs> Shivers, look at it. Look at the break on this. Oh, and that's all downhill. Oh, my God. Let's take some speed out of that. Um, maybe about there. I don't know. It's this first part of the break. going to... Well, actually, that might not be too bad. Get in the hole! Oh, god damn it! That was so close. So close to being in. All right, another little par. Well, the first hole we started off great. Now we're just flatlining. All right, what do we got? Hole four, par four, three ninety. The wind has picked up 15 miles in our face right now. Uh, yep, so we're just going to have to shoot it up there with the driver. Oh, yeah, look at the wind. That just held that bad boy up. They're loving all the um, undulations on the fairways. You never know what kind of lie you're going to get. Again, 15 miles coming at us. Oof. Jesus, I'm half tempted to go an 8-iron into this. Probably need more, to be honest. Don't really think about my shots too much. Probably start... I probably should. I will once 2K23 comes back out, because I'll get back onto the tours, and I'll start, I'll start playing competitively again. I sort of dropped off a bit. 
lately. Oh, a bit of a slow. That wind is holding that up. Oh, not too bad. We're on the green. Could have been a lot worse. Hopefully that finds a nice little flat spot too. Oh, not a bad part. 16 feet. It's that first little bit of the break right near my front foot. Never know how they're going to react sometimes. Oh, that's not coming back. No way. Bugger. We got another bit, another bit of a challenging course on our hands here. All right. All five, par five. Here we go. Hopefully, I don't have to swear at this one. Again, fifteen miles coming at us. Well, that didn't sound too good. Oh no, and it's kicked me off into the rough. What is that light rough? It is a light rough too. Oh, we're not getting there. There's no way we're getting up into that. Not with this headwind. No way. I do like a nice challenging course. All right, 81 yards remaining. Third shot coming into the green. Gap wedge pitch. I think I might take the pitching wedge pitch. Just purely because of that wind. Oh, not too bad. Oh, no, nasty, nasty break again. And then it just... Starts going downhill at the top, too. Oh, that's turning. Oh, nasty. Another par. So we are sitting one under after how many holes have we played so far? After five. Look at that. And here I was, confident. I was coming into this one confident as thinking, yep, I'm absolutely going to kill this course. Nope, it's the other way around. I think this course is going to kick my ass. All right, hole six, par three, got 11 miles going with us. Okay, hang on, let me think about this one. I use it. 153, 153, 11 miles, 144, okay, go the 9, 11 mile wins, and a nasty fast, that's off the green, that could even be in the rough, yes it is, Well, hopefully, if you are playing along right now, I'm ho hopefully you're scoring a lot better than I am. All right, gap wedge chip, pitching wedge chip. Actually, do I take a lob wedge splash? I might splash this purely because of the uphill that we've got. That's it, just sit there, ball. Alright, thank you. Let's tap that one in for another little par and keep moving. Yeah, so not the flashiest of rounds today. Definitely challenging, which I'm, I am really enjoying. So thank you, Joe.
All right, hole seven, par four. What have we got? Four, 56, 13 going with us. 27 down. Let's shoot it straight across here. And hopefully... Uh-oh. Oh, yes, fairway. Thank you. That's really... No this is really cool course. That is a tough pin location. Look at all the slope, all the break on that. There's not much... Not much green there. I mean, green grid. What I'm talking about. A 12 miles, gap wedge. Is this, was it sloping down? That's... Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of backspin on this one. Oh, I thought that was fast. Absolutely ripped into it. I need that backspin to kick in. And that's it. That's going to be a nasty little putt. Another one. Oh, I've hit that way too hard. All right, here we go. Oh, no, look at that. Look at that. Look at that par train. Just cruising. All right. Um, hole eight, par four. 12 miles coming at us. Um, oh, probably, let's... Yeah, let's take it about there. The wind's going to take it a little out to the right, depending on how I swing. It's got 1.2k plays already, and I think that's just for the PC, because I'm playing on PC. That's... I can see why. I can see why he's got that many plays so far. This is definitely very enjoyable. Uh, 107, 14 up with that wind. I'll just play straight at it, almost. Oh, that's not bad. I'm happy with that shot. Now I'm just going to make a part. Get in, get in. There it is. Second birdie of the day. Thank you. Hopefully the tide is going to turn for us. All right, hole nine. I got par four, 450 yards again. Hitting into the wind here. Oh, I absolutely crushed that one. Everything just lined up perfectly. That's a that's a beautiful clubhouse there in the distance. He's done a very nice job of this course. Oh, seven iron. I'll bring it in with the. Whoa, do we bring it in with the five? I think I think so. Well, nasty lie. Oh, that was a slow. Get up. Get up. Actually, get off. Get off. Get off. There we go. Thank you, ball. Let's go for a nice little chip. See what we can do with this. Lob wedge chip. Actually, that might not be too bad. Oh, it's just not going to roll out. Damn it. I was confident the uh, lob wedge was going to roll out then. Alright, finish the front nine. Two under. 
Don't know who you're waving to, mate. They're all watching the tennis. All right, what do we got? Hole 10, par 4. 330 yards, two feet down. Oh, interesting. Got that wind. Play at this bunker. Hopefully the wind pushes it out to the right. Maybe get to the green. Oh, let's change that camera angle because that sun was bright. Oh, oh, we got the roll. Oh, we're bounding down onto the green. Nice drivable par four. Love it. That's one hell of a putt. 35 feet. That's all. It's the break. It's the killer here. Was it going to come back for me? Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Oh! You're joking. You're joking. Look at that. I was going to get down and have a little word to the ball then, but I thought, nah, we'll just keep going. Oh, I can't believe that. All right, hole 11, par 5. 632 yards, 5 up. What's that? 6? Yeah, right. Let's do it. 30 more wins. Oh, slow. Shit, that could be in a bunker. Oh, no, we're good. We are definitely good. thing we're on the fairway oh this is um this is a doozy well we're definitely we got 30 miles what do i go for this i think that's i think that'll end up in the bushes here if i do because there's no way it's going to go that far you know what fuck it let's go for it let's see what happens Oh, shit. <laughs> shit! I knew it. I knew it. I don't know why I went, went for it. Oh, God. Let's go. Um, where are we? Right. Yeah, that was just one of my brain fart moments where it's just like, yeah, this would be a great idea. Not thinking about what happened. All righty. Um... 93 in the thick of it can't even see what I'm doing here I'm just going to swing and hope for the best well that sounded thick oh my god look at that should have put some backspin on it and that would have been perfect that's going to is it going to roll off? get off alright chip yes Bobwood's chip. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the sandwich chip for this one. And that is exactly why. I didn't want that falling short again. Alright, it's a good start to the back nine though. Two birdies. 2K21 replay. I think we'll skip that. That was pretty straightforward, Chip. All right, let's keep going. What are we up to? Hole th 12. Almost said 13. Getting ahead of myself here. Hey, this is a nice shot. Going towards the lighthouse here. Um, all right. So we got 25 feet down. Little par three. Got the wind. I'm half tempted to take the four on this. 
Oh, if that hits that front edge, that is going to kick me to the right. Got a hold of it nicely. Oh, this might not be too bad. That Hopefully that slows it down just like it did. I don't think I could have got that any better. Unless it went in the hole. But I haven't had a hole in one in a long time. Oh, that's a nice straight little putt, isn't it? How straight is it? Yep. That's straight. All right, now we're cruising. Five under. Probably shouldn't have said anything. All right, hole 13, par four. Oh, there's a ship. There's a shipwreck down there. Just You can't see me pointing, but I'm actually pointing at it right now. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, down there. Down to the left. There it is. Straight ahead of us. That's cool. That is a very nice touch because you can see it off the tee and everything. Really nicely done. I missed it on the flyover. Um, all right, driver. Eight feet down. Wind. Doozy. Don't rip her fast. Oh, nasty little bounce. Stay on the fairway. Come on, come on. Stay on the fairway. Stay on the fairway. All right, 141 yards. Two feet up. You have that wind. I'm going to play the pitching wedge into this. Wind's just jumped up 12 miles right now. Okay, that wind didn't bring it around as much as I would have liked it to. But being the pitching wedge, the wind is going to get a hold of it. Could be about there, maybe. I want it to turn. I don't want it to turn too much to the left. Because that one break near the hole there is not going to bring it back. Or enough if it goes too far out to the left. Oh, beautiful. There it is. Yeah, so that first, the first front nine, I was just fucking around. No, no I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I had my doubts. I thought, man, this course is going to kick at my ass. All right, back nine is playing nicely. All right, what do we got? Driver, yep, 13 miles coming at us. Bastard, man, I'm swinging so much better today compared to, compared to our last playthrough. Which was a yet another very nice course. What was that? War Road Trails. That's right. By the big hockey dude. Alright, 168, 17 feet up. A lot of wind. Hopefully this isn't too much. Oh, slow too. Actually, that's not too bad. We're on the green. Are we on the green? Yes, we are. Get a nasty little break at our feet. That sort of flattens out and it tapers off again towards the hole. All left to right. I 
Wow, okay. I really thought, thought that that break at my feet was going to play a lot more than what it did. All right, that's our first bird, um, first par, the back nine. Um, all right, uh, what have we got? Six oh six, twenty feet down for this R uh, five, fifteenth hole. Oh, yep, yeah, that was slow. I felt that one. Back. Uh, Good. No, no, it's not going to be a bunker. It's going to be rough. I probably would, I probably would have preferred the bunker, to be honest. <laughs> it's okay. We're back on the fairway. You've got a chance to make up, um, make a birdie here. I'm not going to say an eagle. Well, that's all running down. Sandwich pitch, lob wedge pitch. Got that wind. A lie. Alright, that's a full lob wedge pitch, so I'm going to take this. A little downhill run to the hole. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How did... That's... Yeah, now look at all the breaks. Now they pop up. Considering actually it went the other way first. It sort of went to the right slightly. My, the putt line was straight. Well, my swing line was straight, my swing tempo. That was weird. Anyway, that's what I thought it did. I'll have to go back and watch that when I'm editing this and see what I did wrong. All right, hole 16, par four. So if there's any more roulette designers out there that are still watching, <laughs> yeah, I know. Um... Let us know your courses. I wouldn't mind checking them out, to be honest. There was a... I did see a nice desert-looking one. Wouldn't mind checking that one out. I, I, I do love a desert-themed course. And I haven't played one in a while. Actually, quite some time. Seventy-seven... Wind's going with us. See hey, what? I'm glad to put a little bit of backspin on that. Oh, what was that? Was that for a bar or a birdie? Ah, birdie, baby. All right, seven under at the moment. Two holes remaining. This being the 17th. Oh, what have we got? Nice little par three. Oh, 14 miles going with us. Oh, I'm not sure what to bring this in with the five iron. Oh, that wind's got a hold of it. I'm hoping this is going to bounce. Give me a little bounce and roll up onto the green. No, you're going to stay off? That's fine. We'll chip it. We really probably pref uh, prefer to chip. Unless it was really close to the hole, though. Mind you. The lob wedge chip. That's a full lob wedge chip. Put some backspin on it. 
a little bit. Ah, <laughs> there it is. Hell yes, love it. Ah, uh, chip all day. Do like my chips. Right, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't a bad little chip actually. Didn't mind that one. Had my doubts. I thought it was going to stop just short of the hole. All right, moving on to the last hole. Hole 18, par 4, bringing it back towards the clubhouse, 15 miles coming at us. What have we got? 476 yards. And we found the fairway nicely. All right, 195. Again, 14 miles coming at us. Do we um, bunch it, bunch it up to a three, or do we? Oh, that sounded a bit funny. Coming off the club face then. Tell you what, I've really enjoyed this course, so thank you, Joe, for yelling out, mate. I reckon this is probably one of your one of your best courses. Lobbit's chip, can we do it again? Can we put it in there? I'll add a little bit of backspin again. Actually, no, let's take it off because of the lie. Yes! There it is! There it is. Nine under. That was a hell of a back nine, that was. Wow. That was a hell of a back nine. I'll tell you what, when, we, when I first started, I was like, I came into this round confident. Like, okay, yep, birdie on the first hole. And then just all those, all those pars, I'll tell you what, it was near, near crushing me. I'm thinking, oh no, it's going to be one of those rounds. But we managed to bring it back on the back nine. Absolutely killed it. I loved it. That was absolutely one hell of a course. So if, you, if you're if playing along, how'd you go? Let us know. Let us know in the comments below. But again, that was Marwick Head Golf Links by Joe Nor for the... Hang on, let me just pull it up. What was it? The CDT Roulette Design Competition. So thanks, Joe, man. That was an absolutely stunning course. Hopefully you get a few more plays than 1.2K, even though 1.2K seems like a lot for me. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's awesome. Shit, I'd like to get 1.2K views, let alone plays. Anyway, if you do like this, by all means, smash that thumbs up. Smash that subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, tell a friend. And Joe, show this to everyone, man. All right, I'm out. Later.